employees. The reason that you wanted me to get up there and do this job the right way is why I'm doing it. But Susanna, you were there at the beginning when I met you. I'll never forget that. And hosting a party at your house. And by the way, that was a heck of a party. Um, and uh, and Locke, you came home late that uh, evening, I remember. You're probably working as you do, but you did come home late. But I get to spend a nice evening there. And one thing Susanna uh, got through to me even then, before I knew she was going to run, was her commitment to the community. And I'll tell you, she talked about that community work program where we have inmates come out. And let me tell you, you guys are using that program more than any community in Worcester County, thanks to folks like Susanna. We've had uh, the inmates out here doing several projects, saving tens of thousands of dollars. Just a few short weeks ago, Susanna joined us, and we were uh, on Main Street. And they painted all those poles black and all the... Uh, all the other areas in downtown to beautify it for your wonderful anniversary this year. So again, there's a commitment that Susanna had to me. Sheriff, we need you to help. She's right there. She's calling me. That's the type of advocate she is for this community, for this region. you got a wonderful district. It's a new district. It's a new opportunity. And I'll tell you, after being on Beacon Hill for eight years, there's too much of a one-party state. I know there's a lot of Democrats here tonight, independents and Republicans. It doesn't matter. We're all for one thing, and that's good government. Isn't that right? It's not even partisan. You know, it's just about somebody that knows common sense. Like Susanna's up here with her business background and her commitment to the community, three terms on the select board. She understands the municipal issues. But I also know about her this. She's going to go to Boston and she's not going to let the Speaker of the House tell her what to do. She's going to go out there and vote for the people of her district, what's best for this community, to make this place a better place, and she'll fight to the nth degree to make that happen. Those are the kind of people we need in government. We don't have enough of those people. So when I had the opportunity to come out with Susanna here tonight to say a few words on behalf, I jumped at that opportunity. I was thrilled to be here. When I heard you were going to run, I was so excited because I don't see that many people like this willing to take the dedication, the sacrifice, the family, to the community to give it all up, to put their put their name on the line and get out there and fight the fight. And I know when you get up there, you can do a great job for this community center. And I'm just telling you, I'm thrilled to be here tonight. And uh, I have to leave. I haven't really got a chance to get home, but I didn't want to leave without addressing everybody and telling you this. It's going to need some help. These are tough jobs, tough races. Nothing gets handed to anybody. So please, you reach into your wallet a little bit, please don't be afraid to do it again. You've reached into your hearts a little bit about how to help Susanna. She needs letters written to the editor. She's going to need sign holders. She's going to need you to put signs in your yard. She's going to need you to do a lot of work. But I promise you, she'll do more than anybody. She'll work as hard as anybody, but she's going to need help. And that's the one thing I want to leave you with tonight, Susanna, is you've got a great campaign ahead of you. You're a great candidate. I'm honored to be here. But everybody has to chip in and help you. You can't do it alone. You and Locke, you've got a lot on your plate. But we're all going to be here to help you. And you know I'll be here to help you as well. So I just wanted to tell you, uh, this is a great night. This is a great night for the folks up in uh, this part of Worcester and, and Franklin counties, and I'm thrilled to have been part of it. So with that, I'm going to introduce the uh, DNA singers who are going to come on from New Salem, and they're going to be singing our national anthem. So and I heard you guys are free, so I will stay for this.